Let's do this, warriors. Sex is not work. Let's really talk about it. I was very recently, as in a few minutes ago, uh, notified that Planned Parenthood, and you know what? I usually don't pay attention to Planned ha Parenthood because I really try to be boots on the ground and get the work done at that level, at a grassroots level, because I believe, we at the Warriors believe, that is truly the only way to get work done, one-on-one. -on -one. However, Planned Parenthood, put a posting to Instagram with a cartoon of, uh, I don't want to say superhero woman, depiction of a, a young woman, looks a little bit like a bondage -y kind of outfit and, you know, decrim sex work. Well, let me tell you something and let's really talk about it. Planned Parenthood, right? I'm not going to get into the abortion issue. We know right now they're making a tremendous amount of money from puberty blockers, right? I'll leave that there. Think about it. I think you know where I'm going with that one. Puberty blockers. Next, decriminalizing the sex trade and pushing it on our young people. Let's talk about it. Yes, it will decrim those prostituted, which we at the Warriors agree with, because we know a high percentage anywhere from 90 to 97% are forced into the sex trade. There is no such thing we believe as a sex worker. That is what is used by Planned Parenthood. That is what is used by the media. Sex is not work. Work is not sex. Those are prostituted people. They are forced. They are co coerced. We have the studies. Talk to some of them if you, I wish you could. Maybe you can. I work. I work with women and girls. There are also some boys and men. You, you are forcing physical violence on them. You are forcing disease on them. You are forcing uh, all kinds of horrific situations. No accountability if you decrim the sex trade. Four, pimps, traffickers, brothel owners, sex buyers, illicit spa owners. So although we want that person prostituted, we want them decrimmed. They need a holistic approach. They need to be uh, medically helped, psychologically helped, re-entered into society. We need jobs for them. We need resources. We need homes. We need education. So we're all for decrimming that part of it. However, I am not going to do the work I do along with many other good people and watch as an organization that gets, I don't know how much money from our government. I usually don't focus on them because I don't want to. Because they're somewhat for me the enemy with their puberty blockers and this and that. And you know what I'm talking about. But now, now we're going to become vocal. Telling young women, girls, decrim sex work, promoting it, promoting girls and women to enter a dangerous trade. We know cartels, you think it's drugs? It's the trafficking of human beings. It's the slavery. That's much more descriptive of human beings, of children. Think about that. We know cartels are running right here in the United States. You think, again? I just talked about the border a little bit. This is within the United States. We have communities all throughout Long Island. Remember, I'm based in New York City. New York. Long Island? Law enforcement tells me. Gangs, gangs are running the trafficking, the slavery. So now we have this organization, government sanctioned and supported. It's okay for our girls, our women, boys, men, go out, go out, you know, be this sex worker. It's all good. Well, we are here to tell you that it's criminal. And no little girl or boy wakes up and says, I want to be a sex worker. I want to work as a prostitute. It does not happen. Start talking to your kids. Start fighting for your kids. Start communicating up and down the line. We are going into 2023. We have a crisis in America. But it starts with you at home talking to your kids because this is what is being pushed at them. Decrimming sex work. Sounds good, right? Understand what it really means. We want to help those prostitute it holistically, 
whatever we can do, all these monies being sent to all these other countries and not being focused on our own people, allowing them, telling them, go out. You're only worth sex, the selling of your body. I wish I could bring you sometimes to some of the places I go, some of the people I work with. Shocking? Absolutely. Intense? For those of you who contact me and say it's what I talk about is too intense, this is reality. Wake up. Be a warrior. Talk to your children. We are not going to allow our precious children, our teens, our young people, be involved in this criminal enterprise, again, being sanctioned by our government, government supported by our government, and being normalized as part of the overall scheme of normalizing the sexualization of our children, of breaking down the family unit, of no parental autonomy. So let's really start talking about it going into 2023, because I'm going to really start talking about it. Join us each and every day. I want to remind everybody, Wednesdays, 3 p.m. Eastern, Lynn's Warriors on WVOX. You can find me WVOX.com. Every Saturday, beginning at 2 p.m. Eastern, TNT Global News Talk Radio uh, out of Brisbane, out of London. I do it live from New York. Start looking at the guests I have, the information we're providing, the take actions, the resources, get on board because it's 2023. It's time to be a warrior.